With more than 150,000 employees all over the world and a revenue of over $250 billion every month, Apple Incorporated has become the most expensive tech company. Let's see more about Apple Inc. This trillion dollar company was established on April 1st, 1976 by Steve Jobs, Ronald Wayne, and Steve Wozniak. Now, Apple is considered among the tech leaders of the world and for good reason. iPhones, iPads, MacBooks, hell, the whole product line is so sophisticated and impressive and each year Apple ups its game with new product launches and software updates. While it is well known that Apple has initially operated from a garage, a large section of people doesn't know that that is just a myth. Wozniak said that they didn't do any manufacturing there, it was just a place to jam their ideas in. However, long gone are the days when Apple was even partially operating from a garage, as Apple's new headquarters is now located in Cupertino, California. The plans for this new office were unveiled in 2017, and the construction is still in progress. It is commendable that the new, donut-shaped Apple Park is gigantic and the renovation of their original headquarters, the Infinite Loop 1 from the year 1993, is equally impressive. Since the design of this headquarters looks like a flying saucer, it is also named the Spaceship. Apple infamously removed the charging brick from their iPhone boxes in the name of saving nature, and with the same motto, they are constructing their new headquarters. The design is futuristic, and the company is aiming to make a sustainable and less resource-intensive construction. There are a lot of trees inside and around the whole premises. This design was Steve Jobs' vision. Although he is no longer with us, the top hierarchy is continuing his legacy, vision, and ideas as a tribute to his contribution to Apple. Did you know that Apple Park is a no-drone zone? People usually tend to use drones to see prototypes or capture a few glimpses of such big companies. Tesla is one good example, but Apple is against these practices. The guards may even shoot down the drone if you get too close to the building. Now that we know a lot about Apple Park, let's talk about its price. Steve Jobs is dream office with sustainable and futuristic design cost a whopping five billion dollars sounds like a big amount not to apple other than this super building apple also has 615 other production facilities a lot of these are based in asian countries because of the affordability of land and availability of cheaper labor this justifies how apple managed to employ more than 150,000 people the five billion dollar price tag is more than enough to imagine what apple's mega marvel offers to its employees there are seven cafes in the whole headquarters a massive auditorium and wellness centers in apple park and the beauty is you can bicycle to one place from another because the entire infrastructure is designed in a bicycle friendly way apple products are often considered to be the most expensive expensive bunch in the market. Of course, with price tags going over $1,000 for a phone, Apple clearly charges you a lot for their products. Did you know that the iPhone X was the first phone ever to launch with a price tag of over $1,000? In the first quarter of this year alone, Apple has managed to grab around $72 billion with just iPhone sales. Now add in all the other products that Apple has in its catalog, there is no stopping this tech giant. Not to mention that Apple just held an event where they announced their revolutionary M1 Mac Studio. They have started manufacturing their own chipset, and the M1 Ultra has some of the most amazing graphics with superior processing speeds. While delivering such unbelievable speeds, the processor still manages to have unbelievable efficiency. This is just one instance to show how revolutionary and efficient technology has made Apple among the most influential brands in the tech world. Apple started its journey by making laptops, and it won't be wrong to say that they are the leader in smartphones, smartwatches, laptops, and even the headphones category. With prices from a few hundred to thousands of dollars, the majority of products are considered to be a luxury, and that's what defines Apple today. Amazing optimization, seamless syncing, and top-notch quality have made Apple what it is today. They have managed to make an Apple ecosystem, and they say that if you get into it, there's no escape from it. That is the beauty of Apple. Did you know Apple has also acquired Beats, the music and headphones brand, for $3 billion? The purpose of this acquisition was to simply bury their competition, and when you are as big as Apple, you would not want to have anyone bold enough to challenge you anywhere, right? Other than that, a massive source of Apple's revenue comes from subscriptions like Apple Music, Apple TV, and so much more. There are over 700 million subscribers of Apple services. Just imagine the amount that they make from that many users. With digitalization at its peak, a subscription-based model is one of the most profitable and relevant forms of revenue. Apple intends to spend more than $500 million every year for advertising purposes. That figure alone should be able to describe the mighty wealth Apple holds. And let's end this video on the note that Apple spent over $250 on just operations last year. It's fascinating and crazy to know how big Apple is, and we don't even realize it. Click one of these two videos on your screen right now.